Lance, Lance's actual fall of the uh, fall is actually could be the best thing that's happened to cycling too, because now a lot of the cover up and um, extortion bribes is 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 coming out. So, <laughs> you, well, you mentioned you did you not? I don't think I'm saying this out of. We have a mob influence now. What's that? A mob influence. Oh yeah, it it amount it was it's it, it's it's it is it was it 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 would amount to racketeering. It would be um, it is a mafia, and that's what that's what scared so many riders. Anybody who talked out about it was pushed out. And imagine I always I just want to just put this in everybody's mind. Um, when a rider who's 19, 20 years old goes to a team, he's going there because he's got a passion for the sport he loves. And these riders who are getting busted, they're not bad people. They're really good people. I've met guys, they're treated like criminals. They're treated like, you know, they're robbing. They are, they're committing fraud. That's the only thing. There's, and I, I've gone through this so many times, like, do people really care? And believe it or not, I went over to France this year, and, and it was surreal because I, um, uh, the people do care. And I was the only one that stood up for about the last 10, 15 years that say, you know, this is what's really going on, and this has got to stop. And it really wasn't about being an angel and saying I'm better than somebody else. I looked at it from the writer's perspective, saying, Shit, these guys are dying. These guys were given 10 times the amount of uh, SSRIs. And imagine somebody on SSRI and getting fired, he goes home, and he falls into fetal position and commits suicide. That's what was happening. And so for me, it was not about good or bad, but what happened with Armstrong is that he made, you know, mockery, he mocked riders, he put them, anybody who even questioned his, his, if you're in the sport, you know what's going on, and anybody right. who questioned, he was, they were literally threatened and, right. and told to quit, quit the sport. But what, it's almost as if you don't dope, you don't, you're not competing. You can't Absolutely. compete. Well, you don't dope. You don't. You don't well, dope. You don't do. It. You well, can't win. Isn't this? That's, and that's what I was trying to say. Is imagine going to work. You guys are going into your, you know, your office building, and but you're working for a big corporation. And before you walk into your office, you're going to go up your elevator to your office, and the security guys go, "That's the room over there." Before you go up, you you put your arm out. You get hooked up onto an IV, and you're given 20 different drugs, in order to work at this company. And that's what was. That's what these riders were faced with. Right. And right. Who, has, who should be forced to do that? Right. The reason Pete Rose is out of baseball is because if the, if the crowd thinks that everybody's bet on this game or their own game or against it, you won't be able to give tickets away. Uh, well, so what think. is the future of cycling? It's a complicated one. I think there's a huge movement. I, I believe there's technology. I, I, I know physiology very well, and we have cycling's one unique sport where you can measure the torque on your pedals, which is your power output, which is directly correlated to the oxygen. And I would tell you that I, if I had the tools at 18, I would. Sh I, 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 I did an experiment at 47. I had the same power output I did when I was competing. I'm not quite as skinny as I was then, maybe two pounds heavier. <laughs> but uh, but there are things that can at least check it so that r clean riders have a chance. People, it's more about people who want to have a choice that don't want to put stuff that they have no clue what the long-term side effects are. And there are major side effects with drugs. 